Christmas story begins long before Mary, Joseph, and a manger in Bethlehem. Long before the angel proclaimed good tidings of great joy. You see, somewhere in eternity past, God planned His most magnificent of miracles. His Son, the King of all creation, would take upon Himself the flesh of a man. Then God waited for the perfect time. Like a drama unfolding, the curtain was opening while an audience of angels was holding its breath. A census, a manger, two travel-worn strangers, the stage was finally set. Angels folded their wings at the throne worshiping as God whispered, I love you, my son. Jesus took off his crown and laying it down said, Father, thy will be done. Time had now come for God's only Son to be born as a light in a dark, lonely place. So he stepped from heaven's hall to Bethlehem's stall where a starlet is newborn face. With gladness and tears, play the trumpet, the horns, and the strings. Tell the shepherds and the wise men, and all who will hear, command all of the angels to sing. Fill the sky with your voices and Joy, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Joy sent from God for all mankind. Joy that's far greater than a mere moment of happiness, an everlasting joy, a contentment and a peace that still emanates from the one who laid in a manger in Bethlehem. This baby that Mary held that first Christmas morn is the joy giver. He is the Savior, the long-awaited Messiah, Son of the Most High God, Fully man, yet fully God. Born in a manger, yet born a king.
Most of us have heard at least parts of the Christmas story. We remember Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, shepherds, wise men, angels, a bright star, some animals, and a manger. But the Bible contains many wonderful, yet sometimes obscure stories about that first Christmas. Jesus was just a few days old when Mary and Joseph took him to the temple in Jerusalem. They made this trip to fulfill the custom and law of that day. They had no idea that God had ordained another purpose. There was a man in Jerusalem that God had promised would not see death until he had seen the Messiah, 
the Lord's anointed one. This faithful, devout man believed God's promise and waited for its fulfillment. Can you imagine being led to the temple by the Lord and watching every child that entered wondering, is this the one? Is this the Messiah? The man's name was Simeon. Simeon, faithful servant of God, saw, even touched the Christ child. There was no doubt Jesus was the one. The Magi, kings from the east, had no hesitation or reluctance to fall down and worship this infant king. Why? He was the one. My friends, he is the one, the hope for all mankind. He is more than a great prophet, more than a great teacher, more than a great leader. He is the one that Jehovah God sent to earth to fulfill his amazing plan of redeeming fallen man. For every need, Jesus is the one. To the hungry, he's the bread of life. To those in darkness, he's the light of the world. To the sick, he's the great physician, the healer of broken hearts, broken homes and broken lives. For the thirsty, he is the water of life that quenches the thirsty soul. To the weary, he's the burden bearer. To the confused and perplexed, he is counselor. To the lonely, 
He's the friend who is closer than a brother. And for the fearful, He is the King who protects His own. For those so stressed by the pressures of life, He is the Prince of Peace. For the discouraged, He is the hope of glory. For those who are lost, He is the way. For those trapped in bondage, He is the door to freedom. He is wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He is our comfort, our hope, our healer, our Savior.
delight Something to shout about A baby born in Bethlehem Something to shout about Peace on earth, goodwill to men The hay. Something to shout about. Given our first Christmas day. Something to shout about. The wise men traveled from afar. Something to shout about. Traveling by the light of a star. Something to shout about. Something good to shout about. Christ has come to save the lost. He's Lord, there's no doubt. Salvation through the newborn King, that's the good news. For unto us is born this day, this Christmas day, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Sometimes, I think our world would like to hide the true meaning of this blessed holy day. To somehow remove Jesus from Christmas and redirect the focus toward a non-religious, all-inclusive, non-offensive event. But in these troubled times, now more than ever, people need to know the truth of Christmas and the reason for celebration.
word Christmas means so many things to so many people. For some of us, it's remembering a trip to the woods to cut down a cedar tree, to watch Dad try unsuccessfully to get it into the house. It's about stringing popcorn and hanging tinsel, or putting up lights to find only half of them work. It's singing Christmas carols and baking cookies, eating, and then eating some more. It's about Santa Claus coming in the night while children are pretending to be asleep. Going to grandma's or some family member's home for a massive meal. Spending time with mom and dad, brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, and cousins. Giving and receiving presents. These are all wonderful moments and precious memories of the Christmas season. Well, except for the massive eating. Every once in a while, it's good to be reminded that these blessings are only byproducts of what Christmas is really all about. The meaning of Christmas is simple. My friends, Christmas is Jesus. Christmas is His birthday. It is the day we celebrate the birth of the Savior of the world. We must never forget to teach our children and our children's children why there is Christmas. Christmas is not about you or me. It's about Him. Born this day
In the busy Christmas noise All the lights, the bells, the toys I have found You are the only source of comfort and joy. Lord, I want your presence for Christmas. I want your presence for Christmas. I long to your spirit speaking peace to my heart of all the gifts i may receive there's only Yes, Christmas is Jesus. Let's make sure he is honored and given all the glory and all the praise. 